All right, family, again, I don't know who need this word today, but God said you need this thing. So I just pray that it reaches you and I pray that it's a blessing. All right. Now, family, please remember to get the word back before God in prayer and test the spirit. But whoever this is for, this should serve as a confirmation. Okay. So God is saying right now, guys, he said the mission is calling. Yes, your father said the mission is calling. I don't know who you are, but God has been asking you or pushing you forward, right? In your spirit, you may be feeling like God is telling you your time is up here. And this could be in a location, a city, a state, or a job, a relationship, whatever it is. God is saying right now, the mission is calling you to move forward. All right, you gonna know if this is for you, y'all. So God is saying the mission is calling you to move forward and it's causing you to have to leave people, places, or things behind. All right, and for some of you guys, there's people asking you to stay longer. You know how like you might put in your two week notice at a job and they may be like, listen, we haven't found anyone to replace you. So can you stay a little while longer? And God is saying right now, decline decline and let them know you know let them know say hey god is asking me to keep going god has called me to go here or do this you know leave this job right god has asked me to move forward and i gotta stand on kingdom business god is not worried about you blaming him god is not worried about you letting somebody know you stand on kingdom business right so god is saying let them know i'm going where god has led me i want to stay i want to continue to help you guys out right because you probably likely made a big difference in in that friendship in that school in that job right god is saying right now but it is time to go your time is up all right and for some of you guys you're already dealing with this right and but for some of you guys it's to come because of the prophetic word but just get this thing back before god because god is saying right now some people are going to accept that right they'll be like okay you're going to do the lord's work and you're doing what god has asked you to do you know go with god right but then some are going to ask you they're going to be like when are you going to return are you going to come back right they're gonna ask you that right and god is saying right now do not make an empty promise and say i'll be back <laughs> listen y'all i'm telling y'all this is a warning okay this is a warning warning comes before victory or destruction y'all so listen now god is saying right now do not make a promise you may not be able to keep right because our plans for tomorrow may not be god's plans for tomorrow y'all remember we are servants your steps are ordered and you do not order your own steps so when they ask you will you return you are to tell them hey if it's god's will yes when they ask you are you gonna come back will you return god is saying to let them know baby i will be back if it's god's will I don't know who this is for, but if you know this is your word, baby, say, I'll be back if it's God's will. Come on now. Do not go out here promising people things out of your emotions or trying to appease to their feelings, okay, or what you want to do because you are a servant and your steps are ordered. You will only go where the Lord leads you, right? Come on, somebody say, I'll be back if it's God's will. Come on, say that thing out loud then. Go down there in the comments and type it out. Say it so it'll get in your subconscious mind so when the moment comes and they're asking you like, hey, you gonna go do God's work, but when you be back, do not just say, oh, I'll be back. I'm coming back you don't know that right you would only come back if the spirit leads you back come on now somebody say i'll be back if it's god's will i'm telling you right now if god is giving you this warning it's because someone is gonna uh, probably you know tug at your heartstrings and we don't make moves y'all we don't make moves out of our emotions we're led by the spirit right as a kingdom kid as a child of god you're led by the spirit so you'll return if the spirit leads you back amen and listen i don't know who needs this thing but i pray that it reaches you okay listen y'all let me give y'all some scripture then i'm gonna let y'all go okay i love y'all so so much family i really really do y'all so guys god led us to acts 18 acts 18 verses 18 through 21 and we're going to focus on verse 21 right but again it's acts 18 verse uh 18 through 21 i encourage you guys to go back and read it and let it bless you okay if you're not familiar this is when paul right he's traveling and so he goes and uh he goes and he starts to preach in the synagogue all right he's preaching in the synagogue he's teaching and then he gets ready to leave 
Okay, in verse uh, 19, he's getting ready to leave. And then they ask him, listen, can you stay a little while longer? Can you stay some more time? In verse 20. And then he says, no. He declines. But in verse 21, this is what he says, and this is what we're going to focus on, y'all. Come on now, pay attention. It's going to bless somebody. In verse 21, he says, no, but it says, but as he left, he promised, I will come back if it's God's will. Listen to me. He said, I will come back if it's God's will. He did not promise them that he will just come back. He let them know who was in control, that I am a servant and I will go where the spirit leads me, okay? And God is looking for you to do the same thing, baby. When they ask you when you will return, say, I will if it's God's will. And then it says that he went ahead and sailed on. He continued on the mission. So I don't know who you are, but God is saying right now, baby, your mission calls right your mission has been calling you i don't know who's asking you to stay or where they're asking you to stay but god is saying decline and let them know that you will return only if the spirit leads you to come back all right listen y'all i don't know who needs this thing today but baby i pray that it reaches you okay and again i pray that it's a blessing all right listen i have to go family i love y'all so so much guys i really really do okay i thank you all for the love the shares the comments the new subscribers hey family the new followers on TikTok. What's up, guys? I see you all. Thank you so, so much for joining the family and allowing me to be a part of your journey, okay? Guys, I thank you for the sowing of seeds, for your donations, for the gifts that you guys have been sending in. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for your generosity. I thank you for giving into the ministry, okay? Thank you all so, so much, okay? I thank you, and I just pray that God will, will open a storehouse, right and pour you out a blessing baby give you a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive even if you don't haven't sold with money you saw your time here with me is a seed so i just pray that god will give it back amen in jesus name i'm praying for you guys okay